is filled with beautiful places. Among them, one of the most beautiful places is Sajik Valley. Hello there, everyone. My name is Safwan Mustafa. I'm a fourth grader at the Moni Tutorial School. And today, welcome back to my live session once again. And uh, today I've got a very interesting topic for all of you, which is Sajik Valley, which I recently visited. So please let me know where you're watching from and please please um go try to uh, comment down below okay so welcome to my live session once again so today i'm going to talk about sajik valley sajik valley is one of the popular tourist spots in bangladesh situated among the hills of Kasalogong range of mountains in Sajik Union um, and the valley is 2,000 feet above sea level. Sajik Valley is known as the Queen of Hills, uh, Queen of Hills and Roof of Rangamati. I would like to thank Allah Almighty that he gave me a chance to visit Sajik uh, with my family. I started my journey on last Monday. I re I visited Sajik last Monday um, at 10:30 p.m. We caught the bus and started our journey. The bus journey was quite relaxing and comfortable. Finally, we reached Kagrachiri, which is in Chittagong. So there we had a hotel to rest. There we rested for some time, and um, after that we had our breakfast so after we had our breakfast we continued our journey to Sajik so it was it took about um, 45 to 1 hour to go to Sajik so we had to wait in a place where the army Scots will guide you to Sajik so at that place we had to wait for some time and after that we continued our journey so the army scouts led us and took us to Sajek so after reaching to Sajek um, there we had our hotel there we got freshed and uh, it was quite a long journey so we had to sleep we had to sleep and we had to take a nap for some time and after that we uh, went to have our lunch we went to have our lunch and there we had our lunch now there were some special food items which I'm going to tell you a bit later so after that we started uh, roaming around Sajik we stayed there for yep a Tuesday Wednesday Thursday we came back on Friday so we stayed there three days and after that uh, we started roaming around Sajik and in Sajik oh my god it was so 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 beautiful like when we started our journey from Kagrachiri to Sajik um, the view which we had uh, in our sides oh my god it was commendable it was commendable and you should too visit Sajik because I'm telling why because of its view what a view it was um, when you search Google you will see uh, some of the pictures which you won't like so uh, if you want to visit Sajek September and October is the golden time to visit Sajek and I thankfully I uh, got a chance to visit to Sajek on September so yep I recently visited that place and as I said it was commendable so um, first of all we uh, decided to climb a mountain so we had to prepare some of our clothes which we wear to climb the mountain because you know the mountain was 3,000 feet above the sea level so it's very very high so we climbed the full mountain now let me tell you my experience that how we climbed the mountain we call it hiking so we hiked through the mountains and um, let me tell you my experience 
So first of all, the land was plain when we were going. Um, then gradually it was going upwards. Oh my God, fully slanted. It was going upwards and upwards. So after that, you know, um, there were no stairs that there will be some stairs it will be easy to climb the mountain but it was not like that there were some stones which you have to put your leg to and then you have to move forward it was quite risky a lot if if you place your feet in by mistake in a wrong place you are gone <laughs> so you have to be real careful about that so after that, uh, we continued our journey to the mountain. So there were uh, my mother's close friend, um, um, my mother's close friend. So my mother's friend's family was there as well. So you know, if you go there with uh, the with your family, it becomes very much uh, interesting because roaming around the place with your family, it's a different type of fun. Okay. So um, it's better if you go with your family, if you take your uh, um, relatives with you. So now let's continue my story. So then we continued, okay? Um, then suddenly at a place, I was about to fall. Yes, suddenly uh, my leg was, I mistakenly placed it in a wrong place. But thank God, my other feet was at the right place. So I could balance and overcome that <laughs> slip. Okay, so after that, um, I continued my journey. So in the middle of the hiking, there was a place where you can drink uh, some water and there were some fruits to eat. So, you know, my shirt. Uh, the shirt which uh, I was wearing, it was fully wet uh, with sweat because the climate was also not favorable at that time. It was hot. It was in the afternoon at 3, maybe it was 2.30 p.m. So we continued the journey to the mountain. There we drank uh, some uh, soft drinks. After that, I ate a banana of the mountains so I tried to taste it that the taste of the normal cities like Dhaka uh, the taste of the banana uh, can cannot be the same the ma bananas of the mountain and the bananas of Dhaka it cannot be same so I tried the banana from the mountain oh my god it was sweet as honey it was very very sweet so it was delicious so I wanted another banana to eat because I need energy to climb a 3,000 feet uh, above the sea level mountain so I got some energy now we continue the journey so continue 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 and finally we reached the peak at last oh my god a miracle happened what a view it was like I cannot express this in words how beautiful it was you can see the mountains what a view greeneries and greeneries the uh, clouds touching the mountains what happened clouds were coming into your hand and I got a chance to touch the cloud what a feeling it was uh, it I touched the clouds. What a feeling it was. I clicked some pictures over there and um, this was the mountain climbing. Now, after climbing the mountain, of course, clicking some pictures, enjoying the time with the family. After that, um, we climbed down the mountain again. Well, climbing down the mountain was quite easier but much 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 easier than climbing up the mountain it it uh, it uh, it pushes uh, pressure uh, into your thigh so it becomes quite uh, it becomes quite tough to climb up such a big mountain so 
if you want to climb Mount Everest, what will happen then? <laughs> so it Mount Everest is very very big. <laughs> so after that, after uh, climbing down the mountain, took some rest. By that time, it was five to five twenty. Then we decided to watch the sunset of of um, Sajek Valley because the sunset will be very beautiful so we decided to go to a helipad uh, it's the best place to watch sunrise and sunset so we went to the helipad to watch the sunset and after that there was a tea which was served in bamboo shocked yes it was served in bamboo first they uh, they had cut the bamboo from the middle and they um, actually made the tea inside the bamboo so it was um, a tea of the highest class what a tea it was I still remember the taste so what uh, my mother did my mother brought some of the bamboos um, uh, from there to our home so that we can also try that that um, uh, eating uh, drinking a cup of tea in bamboo oh it's completely a different feeling so it was a uh, quite fun to um, watch the sunset and climbing the mountain after that it was enough then we came back to um, our hotel there we rested 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 um, took a nap then went for our dinner okay we went for our dinner after that that was the end of the day and we slept early in the morning I woke up at 4.45 to see the sunrise okay so when I woke up I removed the curtains what 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 a view it was the clouds came down you are above the clouds can you imagine that view it will seem that it's a sea but it's not a sea it was the clouds and above it it was the sky and below the sky it was the mountains oh my god what a view it was after that uh, we um, I don't remember what we went yes so after that we got fresh I woke up my family they quickly wake up see the view and they were also mesmerized so we got ready and we went to the helipad again so there we got a perfect view towards the sunrise we saw the sunrise and it was beautiful super fragilistic expialodocious it was super and we also clicked some pictures and um, after that after watching the sunrise it was 5 or 5 30 at that time 5 or uh, 5 30 a.m. in the morning after that we went to a place yes we went to a place which is known as um, a place where there is a tree of 100 years old it was a banyan tree in Bengali we say bodgach so there was a banyan tree over there and it was 100 years old so also click some pictures with it and after that we um, went to a place which was the stone park so when we went to the stone park at first we clicked some pictures there you need to um, buy a ticket 20 taka for each person so um, we were nine people in total so um, we had to spend we had to spend 180 taka for the ticket doesn't matter if you want to enjoy you have to invest money okay then we went inside the stone park quickly clicked some pictures and there was a place um, like it was like a stairs like stairs you had to climb it it was like um, 
from your floor to your ceiling the height was like that so you have to climb up the stone now, it was easy it was quite easy from there you can see another completely different view the trees are were clashed with the clouds you can see india you can say you can see myanmar uh, from that place um tripura uh, then myanmar india many of the places you can see well why do you need to go to switzerland why do you need to go bhutan uh, whereas there is a beautiful place in bangladesh you should visit this place why i'm telling um uh, let me finish it first so um after um looking at the view there was a swing over there which you can relax a bit um just chit chat with your family and enjoy the view so it was quite relaxing and very comfortable after that uh then we uh went back to our hotel now by that time um um it was maybe 7:30 or 8 in the morning but before we uh, went to the hotel um meanwhile we stopped at a place um we stopped at a house which is known as jumkar in in bengali so we inside uh, we went inside the zoom car and it was a completely different view again the best thing which i liked about sajek is you get different views in different uh, times uh, which is a very very good thing about sajek which i enjoyed a lot in the morning completely different in the afternoon completely different in the evening a fully different view and uh, in at night it rains sometimes <laughs> yes so uh, we went inside the zoom car and also click some pictures over there and then came back to our hotel so um uh, took a nap for 10 to 15 minutes then um we went to have our breakfast we went to have our breakfast there we had our breakfast and after that we again started roaming around Sajik now we uh, it comes to culture like uh, there was a culture Lusai okay um, we went inside that place and um, we went inside that place we clicked some pictures again a completely different view which I liked the most about Sajik then a couple of places like that so this is how Sajik trip ends now I'm going to tell you why you should visit this place as I told you in the at the beginning of my video that September and October is the lucky or the golden time to visit Sajek. Why? Because um, in summer you will be too, um, you'll sweat a lot, you won't be able to enjoy and in winter, now it comes to winter, you won't be able to see anything and not anything, not even the clouds, not even the mountains, It's it will be like fog. In the winter you cannot see anything in Sajik. You're our money will be totally wasted but in September and October it's a golden time to visit and you will get the complete view you will get everything every facilities so this is how our tragic uh, trip ends not the end yet after that a long journey was awaiting for us we had to go to another place Kagraturi yes which we had to stay in a hotel to rest uh, to visit Sajek in so we there are many places to visit in Kagraturi so what we did um, uh, we uh, kept one day to uh, roam around um, Kagraturi 
you should keep at least four days in your hand, four days in your hand to roam around Sajik and Kavrachari, or three days is fine. Um, after that, we um, took our nap after roaming so many places, roaming around so many places. Um, before we went to sleep, you forgot that day was a match with uh, Bangladesh versus New Zealand. And thankfully, Bangladesh won. And after that, um, we were very happy, we were cheering. Before, uh, after uh, Bangladesh won, as a party, I can say, as a party, I bought a hat. I bought a hat uh, for because of the sunlight, okay? So, uh, let me stop here a bit. Let me uh, read some comments. Okay. Hello, brother. Yeah, hello. Thank you for um, um, uh, watching my live. So, hello, dear. Thank you for commenting. And um, next is Nepale EPL Tamim. Igbaler Sarsumi Live Zekte Niche Link. Oh, okay. That's a different one. Okay. So thank you for commenting a lot. Uh, for, thank you for commenting. So comment more that um, uh, do you want to visit Sajik or what's your plan? That um, have you ever visited Sajik before? If you did, then let me know your experience in the comment section. Okay. Then moving forward again. Then we went to sleep after shopping and all that things. I forgot to tell you a thing, which were the foods which I found over there. There were many foods. One was bamboo biryani. Yes, they cook biryani inside the bamboo. Okay? They cook a chicken inside the bamboo. And I told you about bamboo tea before. So it was very tasty, you know? Very, very tasty. And their naan and kebab was also very tasty. Their barbecue was fantabulous. After that, um, after the dinner, we went to sleep. Early in the morning, we had to prepare for checkout. And after doing the checkout, we said goodbye to Sajek. And we continued our way to Kagra Chori. Yes. So there <laughs> there we um first we continued the way uh, of Kagra Chori another beautiful view of Sajik. At the right side there were mountains, at the left side the clouds. What a view it was. So uh, finally at last we reached Kagrachori and um, we decided to rest there for some time and we decided to have our lunch now I forgot the restaurant's name but there we decided to eat something um, as a lunch so uh, we ate rice rice um, then a bit of chicken and some fish um, a fish uh, masbarta in Bengali we say then a uh, many many more things a special item was served as a drink a drink but a special item confused it was uh, the name is in Bengali tetuler um, tetuler juice okay so the name was in Bengali Oh my god, what a taste it had. It was very, very tasty. It was so tasty that I cannot explain the taste um, um, in words. So I asked um, the tetule juice for um, two times. After drinking, then I asked for another one. The, the lunch was very tasty. Continue the way. There we decided to go to a, um, 
a fall, a waterfall. Okay, so that waterfall's name was Richang Jharna. Richang Jharna is a commendable place. So there I went and there were many stairs down. We had to went many stairs down. Now another thing that you have to, if you walk, uh, f uh, if you walk, now there is a type of slanting thing and reaching Jharna is a bit far. So if you walk, it will take you 30 minutes to reach reaching Jharna. So um, there was another option that uh, there were some bike riders. You have to ride with them and they will take you to the Richang Jharna uh, in just two or three minutes. So we decided because 30 minutes walking is the, it's too much. It's too much. You cannot, um, you will, you won't be in a mood of clicking pictures. So it, it's too much. Uh, after that, we uh, picked the bikes. We picked the bikes and went to reach Yang Jharna. Wow! I saw a waterfall for the first time in my life, which was reach Yang Jharna, and wow wow the water was flowing it was going down and um, people were enjoying but the place was very sleepy you can fall anytime so there they serve there they serve um um what will i say yes they serve a bamboo stick to put pressure to put pressure on it so that you uh, uh, so that um, you cannot, uh, you, so that um, you will, can't lose your balance. Okay, so they uh, give you um, a bamboo stick to put pressure on it. Okay, so after that, again, continued the journey. They collect some pictures. I was about to fall, like I was. It was so slanting that I was about to fall again. Well. I was about to fall in Sajik and Kagrachuri three times. Thank God, <laughs> I escaped all all the times. I was about to slip. So after after clicking pictures, we said good, uh, goodbye to um, goodbye to the Richang Jharna and came back again with the motorbike. Again went up. From there. We decided to go to a cave, which is known as Alutila Guha. So we decided to go to Alutila Guha, and there, there, um, we heard from some people that there are some uh, there are some holes where you can't understand. You may place your feet into that, and. You may fall as well because they don't know how depth it is. And some people even said that there are some uh, if you uh, if you lost your way, there are some places that uh, if you go, you will lost your way. You cannot come back. Um, people will be lost. So we didn't take the risk actually so we just um, there was a place where you can get a nice view from there we just clicked some pictures over there and yes after uh, clicking the pictures we went to another place which was known as Julonto bridge yes why because it it, it was moving a lot so Zilon the bridge was very it was quite interesting I found it quite interesting so click some pictures over there again um, these were the three most beautiful places in Kagrachuri you will understand if you go so you have to, you should go so that was the end of Kagrachuri but not the end <laughs> uh, um, um, the entrance of Julonto bridge um, before you go to Jalanta Bridge, there is a shop, ice cream uh, and sugar cane juice. There was a sugar cane juice over there. So I drank a glass of sugar cane juice. It 
taste was very tasty. It was so sweet. And after I, okay, after I ate, after I, sorry, I after I drank that sugar cane juice, I wanted again. <laughs> then I, I found their ice cream. So I said, okay, let's try one. So there was Choco Bar, my favorite ice cream. Let me know which is your favorite ice cream um, in the in my comment section, okay? Okay. So I I don't want to say, but I have to say I ate three Choco Bar ice creams. That was too much. <laughs> yes, that was too much. So the journey was fun. Then we. Uh, decided to take rest for three hours because it will be a quite a long journey in the bus it will take eight to seven hours to come back to Dhaka so you need to take some rest because uh, you can't expect that the bus journey will will be so comfortable so what we did we went to a hotel named Mount named Mount Inn we went inside the hotel and took some rest um, after that we uh, caught our bus at 10 at 10 p.m. and came back to Dhaka this was the end of our journey of uh, in Ksajik and Kagratari so I hope you all liked it now ag again I am telling if you get a chance whenever you get a chance it's good if you get the chance in September and October. You sh you must avail the chance to visit Sajek because it's a beautiful place. I'm saying, I'm saying. Okay, so let's. We I got some more comments. So Tajima Jabin ma'am commented, "Oh my goodness! Whenever I hear this boy speaking, I just get amazed." Little brother Safon, you talk so beautifully in English. I also try to follow British accent, but my one is not as acute as you. No problem. And thanks a lot for commenting. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot for commenting. And um, no problem. Practice doesn't matter. Uh, I also needed lots of time to master British accents. Okay. Then... Um, Muhammad Hamid Ullah Rubel uh, commented in my video. I'm watching, uh, watching you from Kumilla, my favorite place. Yeah, Kumilla. Yes. Okay. Ume Salma Konka, ma'am. Oh. Okay. So, mashallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching my live session, and. <laughs> Um, whenever you get a chance to visit Tajik, you should, you must uh, visit that place. Thank you. That's the end of my live session. Hope you all enjoyed it. So, there is my channel. Uh, uh, there is my YouTube channel. And if you search in YouTube Safan Mustafa, you will get my channel there. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. And please follow my Facebook page, Safwan's Knowledge World. Okay, so would like to end here. Stay well, stay home, stay safe, and take care of yourself. So, Allah Hafiz, everyone.